Anywho, it's called, um, it's, no, it's untitled. So, um, there's no title to it. So, I missed the uh, 1245 bound train home. Too bad the traffic didn't uh, plow me over outside the Grand Central Station. Too many times this feeling has conflicted my thoughts. All the problems once f traced to lack of guts and uh, finances. I was working Monday through Thursday. I was one, once 18. Then respectfully debauched. I took it all away until Sunday, you know, which is where we are now. You and myself, you know we're here, though you never were. Stinking drunk and not wanting to be here under the circumstances. And not wanting to be in the bumfuck nowhere else. The snow was coming down really hard. It was a beautiful, observing the flakes blowing down 42nd Street, illuminating the traffic lights, the sound of automobiles screaming like motherfuckers. Really, I'd rather stay than have to board that train reluctantly. I passed out on the train to be awakened in a convulsive, like anxiety induced thought from the DTs, probably. Mount Kisco, Bedford Hills, Crosby, whatever the fuck that is, and uh, parties, you know, and Bruce, New York, which is a great town. I stumbled onto the platform and the car will not start. That was horrible. All I wanted is just, I didn't, the last thing I wanted to do was film my degenerate parents. Then my look changed. Strange as this is the next encounter was, uh, Mrs. A was uh, motoring by. A Valkyrie woman from the uh, Jane Seymour School. An actress, dancer, and performer. Martin Demi, a uh, former model. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you guys know Martin Demi. But no. Still a beautiful sight. Eyelashes down on the floor. I'm the present pink gown adorned her ass all the time. How can you not see her in there? Alright. Here we go. Sorry. Uh, so she picks me up in her uh, SUV. Miss A was from the Belafonte, you know, kind of a uh, Irving Claw S exotic school, as I said before. And uh she also, uh, you know, came from the 52nd Street of a uh, school of uh, 50s more, maybe in the 70s, I don't know. Maybe she missed a train, you know. But, uh, you know. She uh, picked me up in a car and she decided to pay me in cocktails and brought me back to her house and other chemicals to hear the uh, salacious stories that uh, I did down here in the city. And the details of techniques of my urban sexual paralysis, you know. Sometimes the light would hit her, you know. These people had an indoor pool confined to a patio, which was heated, but it was never taken care of, and the water was gray, probably still is. It was musty, and there was curdled blobs of uh, pool candles, foamy islands bobbed up around nervously, and it steamed from the heat like kind of making nauseous. So, uh, you know, more chemicals. And she looked great, and uh, she wanted to hear more stories, but I, I didn't want to have sex with her. I don't think she wanted sex. She said she wanted stories. So I went down to the bathroom and masturbated, and the cum I wiped into uh, my skin dried in the bathroom under the uh, red hot bulbs, and the coils were buzzing. And I think, is the husband going to come home? And there are 20 year old kids that are away at university, and she wanted me to tell her another story, which I wasn't going to tell her. And never did she splay uh, her uh, pink loins. That's it.